Okay, guys. Uh, today I wanted to show you something that I've been working on the last couple days. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do is take my regular battery here in the scooter, which is 12 volts, and it's about 13 volts fully charged, and about 6 amps. And obviously, if I were to run that directly into a phone or GPS or whatever, I'd probably burn it out. That's a little more than it should handle. So, what I did is I took these uh, cables, just put some uh, little ends on them, so I could uh, screw them right into the battery terminals. In the positive end, I put in just an on and off switch, so I can choose whether or not whatever's hooked up here uh, it gets power, instead of having to constantly hook it up and unhook it and all that. Um, all the way down here, I have a 5 volt uh, voltage regulator on this little circuit board here. Um, I wasn't quite sure if the uh, the 12 volts up there would be dissipated quickly enough by this little heat sink. So I actually wired in a fan, just a little, uh, it's almost like a furnace fan type of thing, just glued it onto this little metal plate I had here. So, meanwhile, or while I have this on, the fan blows and dissipates the heat off of here. So, whatever the, uh, the heat sinks can't uh, like let go of fast enough, the fan will take care of. So I don't ever have to worry about blowing this out. Um, I, I'm probably going to put some capacitors in there later just to help regulate the output. But for now... Um, what I wanted to show you is, so we got the 12 volts coming off the battery, but when I turn it on, I have the fan and the power regulator all on the same circuit. So it'll blow, and we will watch what the multimeter says. So there goes the fan, it's blowing. And you can't see it on a video, but you know, hold this up, you can see it blowing a little bit. Alright, so the power's going on this side. Here's the, uh, on the left side, the positive uh, input. The middle is basically the ground and neutral, and the right is the positive output. So, right now, you know, I saw one of those sophisticated clips. But, multimeter is stuck at about 5 or 4.97 volts. So, absolutely perfect for a phone charger. And if I flip the switch off here, everything shuts off. Flip it back on, everything charges. Flip it off, everything shuts off. That doesn't drain my battery. So very, very simple. Um, I picked this stuff up at Radio Shack. You could probably pay like less than 10 bucks for the heat sinks, the voltage regulator, the board, and the wiring and all that stuff. I'm sure you guys just have old phone chargers or something laying around, solder that together, whatever. But this fan I actually picked up separately. I already had this. So, not absolutely necessary, but just really helps. So, there you go. Easy, 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 easy phone charger. And with this, um, if I ever sell this or, you know, want to ride something else, all I have to do is unscrew these two, pop it in something else, Boom. Instant uh, charging harness for anything I want to use it for. So, awesome. Okay. Tagged on from the previous video, um, I just want to show you that this is actually functional. Um, so, I have a phone right here and just a charging cable with just the positive and negative ends uh, right down here. They're just uh, plugged in with gator clips right down there. I took the leads directly off the multimeter and just put them right on there. So when I flip this on, I want to flip the switch up here, this fan will turn on and this will drop the voltage and the amperage down to actually be able to charge this 